I bite into the soft dough, the saltiness of sauce and meat mixing with a pleasant hint of the cheese. Suddenly, I understand. Wow, is all I can say, and she laughs. Good, right? I haven't eaten in hours. Well, here, I say, holding out a prawn. She shakes her head. Can't do it, she says with a smile. Come on, I tried pizza for you. Now you try a prawn. Believe me, they're the best in Avrock since we're close to the ocean. Isabel reaches for it, her fingers brushing against mine, and I feel a rush of excitement at her touch, which is instantly shattered by the twisted face she makes as she tries to eat the prawn. We're both laughing loudly now as one of the legs hangs from her mouth. It's good, she says with a nod. Now, let's try a weird one together. We talk as we scour the table, searching for the strangest thing we can find. We settle on a strange yellow mush from a planet we both can't pronounce. Our faces screw up as we taste it. Hey, you want to dance? She asks, gesturing to the floor. I look around at the other Avroxies scattered around the clearing. Where's your mate? I ask. She points to an extremely tall Avroxy in the crowd covered in muscle and grimacing at the fun around him. Zayn. He's one of the most intimidating Avroxy in the village. He's definitely not to be messed with. And there's something about him that rubs me the wrong way. Oh, I say quietly. Yeah, he's a real firework, Isabel says, rolling her eyes. The first thing he wanted to do when we met was to start mating. Like, seriously? I literally just got here. Oh, wow, I say, trying to hide the fact that I would want to do the exact same thing if I had Isabel as my mate, only because she's incredibly attractive. Still, I feel a question coming on, one I just have to have an answer for. So, did you? You know, mate, I ask. Isabel waves her hand. Hell no, she says. But I'm sure he's going to try again tonight. That one's yours, isn't she? She asks as she points to Ava, who has her arms entangled around the musician now. I hold my head in my hands and nod. Yikes, she says. Looks like we're in the same boat tonight. Except one of us might still be getting some, unfortunately. I don't want that to happen at all. The only people that should be getting some are me and her. Together. This is my chance to tell her the truth. But my hands keep shaking and the words keep getting stuck in my throat. I can hear myself screaming, You're mine! in my head. But it just won't come out. Before I even have a chance to tell her, a group of Avroxy approach us. They are angry and intimidating, their septa pierced with bones, indicating that they're part of the more aggressive tribes from outside the village. None of them have a mate with them, and I can only assume they're party crashers, as Isabel remarked earlier. Suddenly, they grab Isabel by the arm and pull her away viciously. Hey, piss off, Isabel says, but they don't listen. Let her go, I say, but I'm brushed to the side. Zayn wants you back in your quarters, and if Roxy says to Isabel, I will go when I'm ready. Isabel protests, but they're already pulling her further away. One of the Avroxy stays in front of me, blocking me from trying to get her back. I watch as they take her close to Zayn, and her eyes look back at me in shock. Hey, I'm Killuk, by the way, I shout above the heads of the crowd, desperately hoping she'll hear. See you around, Isabel! Her eyes light up at the mention of her name, and I can sense her mind working. She's piecing it together, and I can see her mouth the words, Oh my God, before she disappears amongst the partygoers. I may never see her again, but as I bring Ava her drink, I start to formulate a plan. I know Isabel and I are meant to be together, and after tonight, I find myself still hungry. This time for what's rightfully mine. <laughs>